everybody doing today? Uh, my name's Nate, and our uh, company's custom made by us. Thanks for coming by and checking out our channel. Um, today's video is just going to be real quick. I always say real quick, but maybe not. So, uh, Saturday, I'm not going to be doing any printing today. Tomorrow, we got a pop up event, vendor event, and a community center. So, we'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, so, this little video will be more just. Um, sure, I'm going to go through a process of showing how I get the, or how I'm going to start trying to get the film. Let me just set that down right there. So when the film comes out of the printer and you finally reach the end of the film, my process has been fairly straightforward where, you know, I take my hand and I hold it and I feed it down as far as I can inside the intake tray of the shaker uh, oven. And then eventually I have to reach inside the oven portion here, turn off powder auto so I'm not powdering my arm, you know, grab the film and then hold it in here with this arm and, you know, work it all the way down to the bottom. So, I mean, it's become kind of a little process, but I just don't like doing it that way. So this is my <laughs> method then I'm going to try to see if it'll work um, to kind of feed this. It's still a manual process, but I'm not sticking my hands down in there. And I can keep this closed, you know, to keep the heat inside the oven. So I've always had these magnets. I got them on Amazon. They look like little pawns from a chess set, but really strong, really strong magnets. So... Um, I use those to hold the film in certain places when I'm cutting or getting it over into the powder shaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I've done, actually I actually have it right here, is I went and bought some nylon string and a clip. I was looking for just an alligator clip. I didn't find one, so. But um, these clips are actually pretty cool. So this clip actually has some powder on it because I used it and it worked good. So what I do now is I have this long piece of nylon string with this black clip on it. Let me turn my screen back on so I can see what I'm presenting here. So, and it has this little twisty thing that, you know, it's, the teeth are there on that side. So all you do is you just twist this, I don't know, maybe a half a turn, and that clamps it down. So what I'm going to do is, or what I did yesterday, is I clamped it down onto this piece of string. Um, and instead of using my hand and feeding it down in here, this was clamped to the edge of the film with my little string. Um, and then I put the magnet, I'll show you this in just a sec, so you can see its position. I'll show you how I did these little magnets here. We gotta get it so it doesn't keep slipping. There we go. <laughs> so, using my little magnets, um, I created like a little pulley system. So, Put one magnet here, so this just kind of hangs over the top of that magnet. It goes down inside, and then I just brought it over um, this way, and then have these little magnets here. So that way I can stand over here and lower this, you know, pull this up, you know, just by pulling over here. So I'm not having to, I mean, you could feed it down the, the center of the tray if you wanted, but for me, I just wanted to do it this way. So as I'm feeding this down in, if I open this up, Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> now you can see the piece right there. So that, that would be attached to the film. That little, can you see it on the film? Yeah, it's right in the center. So that, that would be attached to the film. And then I just keep going. And then I literally just let it go all the way down to the bottom. And then once it's on the bottom, I just let go and just let it roll. So what happens then is, I mean, the film's still pulling and it's you know, still attached to the bottom of the film down here. And as it's coming up, when it comes over this bar and starts to come up onto the um, conveyor belt, 
I just undo the clip and take it off and pull it out of the system and let the film be on its way. But that is my little method of, it's funny, it's this, how do you go like this here? I had this set up a certain way yesterday where it was kind of like a little, a little lever. So again, I can just bring this back up this way. I don't normally bring it back up this way when I'm done um, with it. Um, in this process, I grab, obviously I grab it on this side and then I just pull the string up through. But again, for me, I just get tired of hand feeding it down in there. You know, I get powder sometimes on my arm and on my sleeve. And I have had an occasional issue where I have bumped or touched uh, the film, um, or the ink and the powder that's on it. So that's definitely not a good thing. So that's, um, why I decided to make this little system and it's easy. I mean, it literally takes, you know, it uh, wasn't expensive. I think maybe 15 bucks for the clips and the string. And then again, for me, it's, it takes a second to clip that on the end and then put up my little string system here and then feed it down. And that way I'm not, you know, putting my hands down in there. So, but that's, uh, my little invention, not really an invention, but my little process to keep me from dealing with too much of what's in there. So, but, um, if you do it a different way, uh, when you reach the end of your film, if you've got, um, a way that you do it, maybe you have a long uh, tail uh, that you tape on to it and you're not concerned about it just falling down inside the powder shaker. That's a, another way of doing it too. As long as the, the whole portion of your print has been successful at making its way up to here. I mean, obviously you don't want to have printed graphics on this tray and I've actually had it happen where I'm holding it by hand and it slips out of my hand and the whole thing just falls down and crumples up inside the powder shaker. And then I'm cutting that up section off and reprinting that, you know, so that's definitely not um, ideal. But um, yeah, if you have another way of doing it, uh, post in the comments below and let me know. So if my videos are helpful to you, um, please like, click that like button, subscribe to our channel and uh, click the bell notification so you know when I post new content. We will be doing that pop-up tomorrow with all of the uh, other stuff we do. So, um, as always, I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Make it a great day.